Have you ever been playing a perfectly fine game of Tropico 6 and this window pops up? Elections? Elections? What? Uh, what the? I thought I was the dictator, the El Presidente of this island paradise. Uh, elections? And, and the people seem really angry too. Hello, Hogzilla here again, and in today's video, I will be covering how to win elections and raise voter support in Tropical 6. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question, leave a comment below so I can get back to you, and please subscribe to my channel. So to get started, let's briefly cover what is an election and how often do they or could they occur. Elections occur every 10 in-game years, and you are given a prompt a couple years before the actual election date. You can also trigger an early election by enacting the Early Election Edict, which will hold an election 12 months after enacting. Additionally, an early election can be triggered if you fail to complete the con Conservative Faction's ultimatum demand on time. When a 10-year election is about to occur, you will get this pop-up notifying you about the upcoming election. You have three options. The top option is you can deliver a speech. We will cover this option in a bit, but this option will increase your re-election support slightly after you've completed the speech. With the middle option, you can abstain from giving a speech Usually you only do this option if you have overwhelming support already and you don't anticipate any major issues that will impact your re-election chances. The bottom option is where you cancel elections from occurring. This will obviously keep you in power without the chance of being voted out, but you will take a severe hit in your approval rating with all citizens. You should only select the bottom option if you are 100% sure you would lose any election with no chance of turning it around in the upcoming months. Let's start with the things you can do to increase your support or increase your chances of winning re-election. The first thing you can do is give a re-election speech when first prompted. You have four areas you can cover in your speech. The first area is acknowledgement of an issue. Usually I pick the lowest rated issue as this will remove this value from being factored into if a citizen will vote for you or not. The second area is the praise faction. Once again, I pick the faction you have the lowest rating with as this will give you a temporary boost in rating from them. The third area is blaming a superpower. This will gain voter approval, but this one has a caveat of decreasing your standing with that superpower. So I usually select no one for this area unless you have a superpower with a very, very high rating with as this will cause a 20 point hit to your rating with that superpower. Only do this one if you need that extra boost of approval. The fourth area is a promise to improve. This will sway undecided voters in the area that they're most dissatisfied with and they might decide to vote for you if they're undecided. This has an added note of after the election, if you win, you will get a demand to increase the rating in the area you promise by a certain value, usually between 5 and 10. If you fail to make the requested rating increase, this will negatively impact your overall approval with your citizens. This is why I usually select nothing for this part of the speech. After you have delivered your speech, you should see a bump in your approval rating. The second thing you can do to increase your chances for victory is to issue the tax cut edict. If you are losing or if the election is a little too close for comfort, this is an easy way to get a giant bump in approval. About 5 
10 or 15 percent is the amount I've seen my approval increase when issuing this edict in the past. The only slight drawback is that you have to pay five dollars per employed citizen. So if you are short on money, this option might not be available or could put a further strain on your treasury. The third thing you can do to increase your re-election support is look at your happiness ratings and see what areas you are lowest rated at. If you see some lower rated areas, then address those specific areas. For example, if you have a low housing rating, then build some more high quality housing and try and address any homeless shacks in the area. If you have enough housing already, then look at increasing the budget of existing housing. The fourth option you can do is a little bit of a bizarre one, but I wanted to give you all options. You could build the Coliseum Great Wonder. This Great Wonder will make your overall happiness rating use only the food and fun ratings. So if you're deficient in many areas, you could use this one to reduce the number of areas you need to focus on. If you expect to use this as a quick fix for an upcoming election, I would reconsider as you would have to build the Spy Academy, build up the raid points, then complete the demands of the raiding party wait for the raiding party to get back, build the Coliseum all before the election. But if you want to have an out of the box option over the long term, building the Coliseum Great Wonder might be for you. The fifth thing you could do is use your Swiss account money to buy things on the offer screen. You could increase your standing with factions or buy an image campaign which will help you improve your approval rating ahead of the election. I prefer the image campaign because that will help you across all your citizens instead of just one faction. The last thing you could do to increase your election chances is to rig an election. A few months before the election itself, you will get a prompt from Penultimo asking you if you want to rig the election by changing some of the votes. You should only do this option if you realize late in the game that you will or could lose the election, and the other options I've laid out are not possible. The negative side effect of this option is you will get the negative effects from all citizens that voted against you, so you should only use this as a last resort. But I guess that is better than losing the election itself. In this part of the video, I want to talk about some of the other hostile actions you could take to stay in power. The first thing you can do is issue the Martial Law Edict. The Martial Law Edict will cancel or pause the elections until the edict is disabled. All factions except for the military faction will be a lower happiness rating with you and your liberty will be severely crippled plus your overall approval will be horrible. It should also be noted that you'll probably increase your chance of rebel attack at least two or three times more than it is at the time you issue the edict. You should only use this edict if all other options have been tried, including the election rig rigging, and you feel like you're going to lose the election. It will be nearly impossible to increase your rating as this edict will continue to hold you down, but I guess if you want to stay in power, you will do anything. I can only think of one time personally where I had to issue this and I was able to build up my overall approval rating to about 40% and then I removed the edict which increased my approval rating even further to above 50% and I won the resumed election. The other option to stay in power is the previously mentioned canceling of elections when the up coming election prompt is first presented. Sure, you stay in power, but your overall power rating will take a major hit and will probably generate some more rebel attacks. In conclusion, the 
best way to increase your support and chances of winning elections is to make your citizens happy by focusing on their areas of need as this will help you win elections and will help you run a better island overall in the long run besides the elections. If you don't have the money or you still don't have enough support, then you always have the more drastic options at your disposal. That is all for this video. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have questions, leave a comment on the video so I can get back to you with a reply. And please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.